What's going on you guys, ZKP Outdoorsman here, and welcome back to the ZKP Outdoorsman channel here this evening, guys. Thank you for joining me here. Um, I found a video reaction that we're going to do here this evening, guys, that, and there's things you don't do while you're setting up camp in the forest and stuff. I couldn't find other videos of what you don't need to be messing with while you're out in the woods or out in the forest and stuff, but this is definitely things you don't do while you're out in the forest and what you do setting up camp and stuff things you don't need to do while you're out in the forest and stuff but this is what we're going to do here this evening guys are y'all ready and I'm, I'm gonna try and keep you all as entertained as, as much as i can so y'all won't get so bored and stuff i know while while them uh um video reacts with you i know y'all get some bored stuff well hopefully this hopefully this uh video reaction will will We'll get you guys here arrested of what what well, thing just keep open mind things what not to do while you're out in the forest and stuff. But are you guys ready? All right, here we go. What's up, guys? Dan here, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Today, we're going to talk about three natural features that you may find in the forest that you think is a good idea to utilize during your shelter setup, but they're not. So, one eye appealing feature when it comes to shelter building are downed trees. This thing looks absolutely amazing to build a shelter off of being, again, natural or tarp built. We think, hey, we have this big heavy duty ridge line, we can kick everything off the sides, or we can take sticks and pile it up to make a really easy, quick shelter. We don't have to mess with anything else. The reality with downed trees, though, is that they can be extremely dangerous. There are hundreds of pounds of weight hanging above your head. That tree obviously fell for some reason, typically because they're dead. Of course, there can be a, a ton of other reasons, but a dead tree is starting to rot. It can crack, and if you're setting up a shelter and the weather gets bad, we're looking at the possibility of that tree breaking or falling even further to the ground. You being under it is a terrible idea. So I highly recommend, although this looks super cool and you think you can get a cool Instagram shot with this, it is not realistic. I would definitely stay away from downed trees as part of your shelter setup. Number two are low-lying areas such as where I am currently standing. Now, with that low area, which I've seen happen numerous times, times in different classes individuals think hey if I get down in that lower area I'm a little bit more protected from the wind I'm gonna set my shelter up I have a lot more height up over my head with my shelter or I can even lay sticks across that if it's narrow enough and I can build a roof over it and crawl inside but as many of you are probably already guessing that low area is gonna collect water faster than anywhere else in the forest you sleeping or sitting in your shelter and and it flooding out with water is an absolutely horrific scenario that you never want to get yourself into. So although it might seem super tempting to find a low area like that, I again highly recommend you stay away from it. And number three, probably the coolest land feature you see that immediately attracts you to want to hang out next to it are big uprooted trees. So although this looks like a big mound of dirt behind me, it's actually the roots of a tree that flipped itself over, okay? Um, so this in the wintertime, I can tell you because I come through this area a lot, provides great cover from wind. And the wind actually blows from behind me towards the camera. So if I come here and I sit there, man, it blocks the wind, great. But as far as a shelter and setting it up there, horrible idea. Number one reason is we need to think, why are the trees up rooted to begin with. The general reason for that is because the ground is very moist and wet. The ground can't support the root structure and weight of the tree, therefore the tree just falls over in high winds and bad weather. Number one, we're, we don't want to sleep in wet ground and this obviously then is wet ground. Secondly, once this goes over, it leaves a divot in the ground, which we just talked about. We want to make sure that we're not sleeping somewhere that's going to fill up with water. During a rainstorm in the summer months, um, if you come here, this whole bottom section of this is nothing but one big puddle. What I can say about these cool uprooted trees is, number one, if it's just during the day you're going to make a quick fire and you're blocking yourself from the wind, go ahead, go for it. They're cool. You get cool photos by it and all that good stuff. But as far as it goes with shelter set up next to these things, definitely a no. The other thing you need to realize also with uprooted trees when you see them is if there's one, there's probably more. So if you look wow. behind me in this area, right here we have a whole bunch of uprooted trees if you turn and you look this way 
more uprooted trees back here. So that gives us a real quick down and dirty indication that this entire area gets wet, there's a lot of mud on the ground, and that there are trees falling during bad weather. So this is something that if you would see, although it looks like a paradise for shelters and shelter building, I would highly recommend getting out of this area, moving to higher ground, and getting away from all these dead branches falling. <laughs> So there you go, there are the three tips I'm going to give you today for setting up your shelters, be it a tarp or a naturally constructed shelter. Very simplistic things, but things that if you don't recall in your mind every so often, you might forget about or not look around and think about when you get in one of those situations that you decide it's late or it's starting to rain or the wind's blowing like crazy and I want to get something set up and be done for the night. Take this into consideration. It's going to keep you that much safer and your trip that much more enjoyable. So I hope you... Well, guys, are you, I hope you guys learned a lot. Um, will be a three survival tips in the forest that we don't need to do while you're out in the forest and stuff. Especially, don't be around freaking trees and branches and stuff while you're out in the forest and the woods and stuff. Because, you know, in bad weather and stuff, you know, trees could come down and stuff, break down, could fall, can fall down your campsite or could uh, easily fall on top of you. Because, you know, them trees weigh about a thousand pounds and shit and stuff. And you don't want to eat, like that guy said on the video, yeah, move to a place where, in a camping ground where there ain't some dang trees and move up to a higher ground and, and stuff like that. But um, other things, don't, I mean, there's a lot of tips that, that you can uh, use in the forest so you don't need to be messing with like predators and stuff, like, mount, like and stuff, especially at night and stuff. Make sure you always be your surroundings while you're out in the woods and the forest stuff make sure uh against predators and stuff make sure you always have something to protect you with like your gu guns and stuff and every, what you need i mean guns will be better for you to protect yourself while you're out in the woods and stuff especially well guys i hope you enjoyed this uh video reaction here now i hope it y'all learned a lot on it and stuff what that guy was saying with three survival little shelter mistakes and um, what I've been telling you guys, what you think you don't need to do while you're out in the forest and stuff. But like I said, guys, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching for like always. And I enjoy you guys watching my videos and stuff more than anything in this world. But, but other than that, like I, like I always say, like and subscribe for more ZKP Outdoorsman vlogs and videos like these. I'll be putting more out. And the next, maybe next, maybe week or so, we're, we're going to do a little bit more uh, video uh, outdoors, outdoor reactions, and stuff. While well, um, and I actually found, it looks like I just found a video right there. Maybe it's about predators and stuff that you need to be uh be a, a, aware of. But while well, guys, gonna get off here. Thank you for joining me and watching me, and and I hope y'all learned a lot here on this vlog here. And I will talk to y'all later. And God bless and happy outdoors. And I'll see y'all next time.